Stay low. I do not like that walk on my low. You know the dignitary representing. Yo, yo. Well, I said play by the original John from Queens. See all the girls that rock and come in. Yo, yo. Keep one man From the nose say you keep one man Jump around and put up your hand John from Queens and the girls them dance Girl from you keep one man From the nose say you keep one man Jump around and put up your hand John from Queens and the girls them dance Hold up your hand, show them your wedding band Make them know say you are the one Cause you done already have your band Have one man, you now want more than one A girl a try but she can't take your man Cause you done all for your position Make them know say you wanna slum bam No man can do that as a thank to madam Girl from your keep one man From your nose say you keep one man Jump around and put up your hand John from Queens and the girls them dance Girl from your keep one man From your nose say you keep one man Hello everyone, welcome to the John from Queens TV show I am George Nandon Guest host from Florida sitting in for John today. I would like to address uh, suicide in Guyana. This is a follow-up to what I did personally in one of my um, home videos that John run. Basically uh, I've had some very good um, inputs, inboxes and responses from the last video and I would like to thank everyone that took the time to send in their, their thoughts on it. As you know I was suicidal, I had suicidal thoughts at one time when I was overwhelmed with issues. What I would, um, what I've got the common thread on, on this, uh, on the feedback was, um, I even had from uh, feedback from survivors, family members, and actually um, loved ones that have taken upon themselves to end it all. But this, this, here's the situation. They have all thought that this world will be better off without them. You know how wrong can they can that be? Because I was thinking the same thing until I actually sought for help. Um, it's nothing to laugh about, nothing to mock anyone about. Uh, we have to be vigilant. We have to see that people may have this nice white smile on their face. Recently, um, I've seen so, quite a few young ones in Guyana who have actually taking their own lives and you know every time I read or heard or, or personally know someone or someone who actually sent it heartbroken and sometimes crying um, on the phone even talking to me that George I cannot believe he or she took their own life now listen people have problems we we all have problems and uh, like I mentioned we must let them know that we need each, we need each other in this world. This, this world would be boring without each other's personalities, interests, talents. You know, I, I, must, I must commend all those who are doing something about it. My good friend Adam Budram and the suicide prevention in Guyana. You can check him out also. And he has some very good information on his stuff. John from Queens who actually is doing something positive in his community getting involved, he lives here in New York, loves our community and we should commend, I would like to commend him personally for having me on, for inviting me on, on his show today. So once again, um, back in the day, I like to compare and contrast for a minute or so, when I was growing up we had so many uh, chores to do, you know, we need to give our kids responsibilities instead of uh, going after Pokemon or something. Um, give them responsibilities, make them grow up with responsibilities. We need to see the coping mechanisms. We need to actually show them how to cope, especially our young men and women. I mean, they're, we're, we're losing them one by one. And if you look around, they're very talented, they're very good looking and stuff like that. They're healthy, for crying out loud. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tech at the ER and the CDU in Florida, and I can tell you how many... Um, patients I see and I sit down with them and say listen we need you we all love, love you this is you know you're needed in this world you know don't ever think that this world would be better off without you you know I do that one-on-one -on -one. they will say you know what I'm glad that you spoke to me 
because this was unsuccessful, but I have another one planned coming up. And they would actually, you know, have a little impact from a healthcare professional and a community activist talking to them. By the way, um, just keep on uh, watching John from Queens, his YouTube channel, um, John from Queens TV. And he's on the social media. If you have any, if you'd like to host this show as well, just give him a shout out, to, you know, let him know. Um, but, you know, you know, a lot of people would ask me, why don't you just make CDs? Why don't you sing? Why don't you this? Why don't you that? Listen, I've been there, done that. I'm not looking for personal artistic glory, you know, I'm a member of art, of um, artistic academia already. So I don't need that kind of personal um, enhancements. But I would like to, to uh, you know, a love for people dearly, or young ones especially. We need you. You're very talented and stuff like that. It's, you know, I'm speaking from my heart. There's no script here. All right? John from Queens will never allow scripts anyway. He wants you to speak from your heart. He wants you to come directly with the message and be effective. Thank you for taking your time. Thank you for watching your John from Queens TV and John from Queens YouTube channel. Well, I said play by the original John from Queens. See all the girls that rock and come in. Yow, yow. Girl, from your keep one man. From your nose say you keep one man. Jump around and put up your hand. John from Queens and the girls them dance. Girl, from your keep one man. From your nose say you keep one man. Jump around and put up your hand. John